You doing good? Vlogging. Oh, yeah. Right. Sounds good. Do you need me to be on there? If you want to be. Everything's good. Everything's good? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Take care. What is up guys and welcome back to the Johnny Q channel. Thanks so much for watching. In today's video, I'm gonna make it pretty brief because I'm parked on the side of the road uh, and I shouldn't be. What's new, right? I'm gonna quickly go over how to shoot B-roll. To get your camera, what you wanna do, set it to 60 frames a second or 120, whatever your camera goes up to you. The more frames in your shot, the more frames per second, the better it's gonna be for slowing down for slow motion B-roll. A shot of me coming out and kind of getting the the door of my car get really close and what you're gonna do is this because it's supposed to be slow motion you got to do a quick movement what I want to do is actually like get in position so what I'm doing is I'm up to the door and I'm already in position to get you know to back up like this so I can so I can eventually slide if you saw that position slide because the worst thing you can do is try to get b-roll that's not really smooth and that whole push and slide thing makes me so that when I when I come back, my transition is from here to here, like it's really smooth. And that's what we want to do. So you're up to your subject. You want to make sure you're in position. You want to hold the camera steady. Another thing here, what you want to do is keep your elbows close to you so you have enough stability so you're not shaking your camera. You want as much stability with your camera and your body as you move backward to make it smooth. So here we go. This is what it looks like. Recording, position, elbows locked in, here we go. And you see how that just, you know, I fell back, I held it as long as possible without falling on my face. Here's another one. Uh, to get slow motion B-roll again, you're gonna wanna be in 60 frames a second or 120 depending on your camera. And it's the pan. That's literally, it's a pan. You just pan from left to right, right to left, top to bottom, bottom to top. I mean, whatever you want to do, it's a pan. Pan how you want to. But here's the kicker. You don't want to slow down and then pan some more. You want to make, again, one easy transition, one easy movement from A to B. Here we go. This is what it looks like. Again, I'm using my left foot or my other foot to guide me as I transition. And you want to lean on that one foot. So here we go. and then I just put music behind it and boom, slow motion B-roll. So there it is guys, there you have it. A quick tutorial on how to shoot B-roll. You don't have to be a master before you start using B-roll. I would highly encourage you to start filming everyday objects in your house, outside, wherever you are, just start filming. Start using 24 frames a second, start using 60 frames a second, and slow that down in post. Work on those pan transitions. We suggest you work on that pan with your legs. Make it as smooth as possible. Uh, work on your walks. Uh, what's really gonna help is also the ninja walk, which everybody speaks of, and it's pretty much this. Basically, the ninja walk is you walk on your heels, you try to make it as smooth as possible. That's pretty much it. So. That's pretty much it. That is B-roll, uh, and it is super easy to do. You gotta just start doing it. And so with that being said, I will catch you next time on the Johnny Q channel. Peace. Woo! I love the snow. I love the snow. I'm gonna head home though. It's, it's cold. <laughs>